Hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay using everybody's favorite submachine gun, the VMP. Now, when I first started using the VMP, I would say this was one of the worst guns I have ever wielded, but I'm kind of getting used to it. Maybe it was patched recently, I'm not too sure, but for some reason, it seems a lot easier to handle than it did when I was trying to get it in Diamond. But something that's not easy to handle was the Vesper, and we'll get to that soon, but let's talk about the Weevil. The Weevil was recently patched and buffed. The re Weevil is basically a more balanced version of the Cuda. Now, back then when you used to use the Weevil, that thing was weak. The Weevil would shoot marshmallows, and you had to get like freaking six to seven hit markers with the Weevil to just get a kill. And not to mention the Weevil's recoil was a little unstable. They patched it, the Weevil has a six shot, I think it's a five or six shot kill at medium range, and the medium range for the Weevil is actually really, really long. We're talking like assault rifle medium range. So most of the time, you're gonna be landing like four, five to six shot kills. And up close, I believe the Weevil is a three shot kill. So, the fire rate on the Weevil is kind of iffy so-so, but it, it became more balanced, and it, to me it feels more more uh, reliable than the CUDA. I, I like the CUDA, I feel like the CUDA's magazine is what really hurts it because it chews through the magazine really quickly. But the Weevil has that 50 round magazine, you can take out entire teams now with the Weevil without a problem. If you slap on grip on the Weevil, that will become a laser beam almost as accurate as the Razorback. But let's get straight on to the Vespa, which is the thing that really got punched in the face and it's in the hospital and it's probably not going to recover anytime soon. The Vespa sucks. They nerfed the Vesper to the point where it's a hip fire only weapon. You got to use the Vesper like a shotgun now. And the recoil was insanely nerfed. And, uh, well, the fire rate's still the same, over 1,000 RPM, which is the same as the Dredge Burst Riot, Burst Rounds Riot, what am I talking about? <laughs> and the M8, so, uh, you know, Burst Fire. And also, if you guys didn't know, the Reaper Scythe fires just as fast as the Vesper, but the only difference is that the Reaper Scythe has a, uh, does, I think, 35% damage per bullet, which will always make it a three-shot kill. So if you're shooting three bullets at over 1,000 rounds per minute, the Reaper Scythe will tear everybody up. Which is exactly why it tears everybody up. <laughs> so the Vesper is terrible. I tried using the Vesper not too long ago, and that thing felt like I'm like a two-year-old holding a fire hose. This thing was just flailing all over the place, and I could not control that for nothing. I'm really glad they did that because the Vesper, good, good, jeez, it's the Vesper was. So overpowered back in the day before this patch came out. I remember I was getting shot across the map with the Vesper. And it was very frustrating, especially when you go onto these clans and you face these clans. And they're the people who like master the overpowered weapons. You know, these guys master quick scoping. These guys master the Gorgon for them two shot kills. They're like so accurate with the Shiva and they land like perfect headshots. These guys would master the Vesper. And they would master it to a point, you know, before the patch, they would master it to a point where they would shoot you from across the map with the Vesper. And the bullets would come out so fast, and it would have so little recoil, it's basically like getting shot down with Reaper's Scythe. And it was really, really frustrating. But thank you, Rondahar, you finally patched it. You listen to community. That's one thing I really like about Call of Duty, Infinity War, Treyarch. I don't know about Sledgehammer, but they they listened to us when and we were there was something going around like hashtag buff the weevil and they buffed up the weevil people were saying nerf the vesper vesper is too overpowered and they nerfed the vesper now if only they can do something about these supply drops and stop making the crypto keys so hard to earn or maybe just give us the uh, weapons off the pl PlayStation Store or Xbox shop just like they used to you know two bucks and you get yourself an MX grand but Besides that, just the gameplay mechanics, they're really listening to us, and that's that's something that I'm really, really glad about, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy about too. The only thing I feel now is that the VMP is a little overpowered, but it can kind of be balanced out, because the VMP's recoil is a little unpredictable. It's easy to control if you know where it's going to you know, shift off to. Most of the time, the VMP's recoil has it shifting kind of like diagonal upwards to the right most of the time. But there are other times where you use the VMP and that thing just flares all over the place and you're going to miss a lot of bullets. I understand the VMP is a submachine gun and you can down people at close range really fast. But, I mean... It's not to the point like it's another Vesper, because still the Vesper at close range will chew you out with the VMP, and obviously VMPs stand no chance against shotguns unless you're using a weaker one like the Haymaker, but or or snipers if they get a lucky no scope. <laughs> but other than that, 
I feel like a lot of the guns in this game is really balanced. The Shiva would have been overpowered. A lot of people are saying the Shiva's overpowered. I don't know why. It would be overpowered if you shot really quick with it. But even with rapid fire, the Shiva shoots slow. Very, very slowly. And I feel like that's that's the balancing factor in it. The MX Grand, people are saying, is very overpowered because it's a basically a very fast shooting Shiva. But the downside to the MX Grand, if, if you guys aren't too familiar with this weapon, the MX Grand has a lot of downsides. Now, the positives for the MX Grand is it's a two-shot kill at almost any range and a one-shot kill to the head if you have high caliber. So you're basically using a Dracon. The downside to it is it's strictly medium to long range. Your magazine is terrible at eight bullets. Most of the snipers have more bullets than that, the, uh, the MX. And the v thing that hurts it the most is you cannot reload until your magazine is empty. So let's say the bullet, the gun has uh, eight clips per round, you shoot like three times and you have five bullets left and you press that reload button, your character will not reload. You actually have to waste the other five bullets and then the clip's, you know, clip's gonna pop out as it used to in World at War and your guy, you know, shoves his thumb in there and puts in a new clip. But that that's, that's good balancing for a weapon that's that powerful. But anyway, that's the end of the gameplay here. If you liked it, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me on Twitter at Devontosman. I'll post a screenshot of the class I used on my Twitter. And as always, I'll see all of you in my next video. Have a nice day.